Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today is a new type of video for me. I am filming my first ever reading vlog. I'm super excited about it. If you're interested in seeing what books I'm going to read in this video, please stick around. As I said in my introduction, this video is going to be a reading vlog, my first ever reading vlog. I have never attempted to film something like this before, so please bear with me if this video is a little bit of a mess. I really want to try and make reading vlogs a normal part of my postings for 2024. I love watching reading vlogs here on YouTube. I thought what better way to start out the new year than with this new type of video. I started out the new year with reading Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This is a book that has really piqued my interest and I decided to actually hold on to it and wait until the beginning of 2024 to read this. I wanted this to be the first book that I read in the new year. So I started it yesterday, January 1st. I'm filming this clip on January 2nd and I got a little over 100 pages into it. I feel like I'm just now starting to really get into the meat of the story. We have met our two main characters. We know why our female lead doesn't really care for our male lead. We're now starting to get a little bit more information about the trials that they're going to be going through. It's definitely giving me Hunger Game vibes, which I've heard a lot of people say. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it and I definitely want to try and get through a pretty decent chunk of it today. I also started a nonfiction read. I started One in a Millennial. I requested this not knowing it was nonfiction. And then when I realized it was, I was a little nervous because I'm always nervous with nonfiction, but it seems like it's a book written by a millennial for millennials. I'm a millennial, so I'm really hoping that I end up enjoying it because of that. I'm only like two or three chapters into it, and so far it has been such a good time. It's like nostalgia times a thousand, and I'm, I'm enjoying it actually. So yeah, plans for today. I want to edit a couple videos, upload, make a couple thumbnails, do a little bit of cleaning, but I really am going to try to focus a bunch on reading today so that I can get through a pretty big chunk of Powerless. I will check in with you all later. Hi guys, so I was reading in bed because I was really trying to get to page 200 of Powerless tonight. I didn't get to do as much reading during the day as I wanted to because I was working on other stuff and I was reading in my bed and it's literally like 8.30 right now. It's not even late, but I fell asleep. I fell asleep on page 196. I came and sat down I was going to pop my glasses on and they just... I have these as like my bumming around the house glasses. Like these are the ones that I wear when I'm reading around the house. That way if I fall asleep at night while I'm reading, it doesn't matter if they get all lopsided, but they're now missing a leg. I'm still going to wear them as my around the house glasses, but yeah, we're, uh, we're starting 2024 off in style, let me tell ya. A lot has happened in the last hundred pages of Powerless. I feel like we got introduced to a secondary situation, which I think is what's going to make this book into a series. Like this book is going to focus on trials, but there's now this secondary underlying thing happening that I think is going to lead into other books. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this book so far, like genuinely really loving it. The only thing that has me a little bit weary is that there is potentially 
like love triangle vibes happening and I don't like love triangle but also the third person in this love triangle like it's giving early season one one tree hill vibes if you know what I'm saying like I'm looking at you paint and swear <laughs> so I don't know that's the only thing that I'm just not 100% sure on but I'm really enjoying it otherwise so I am still gonna attempt to finish the chapter that I'm on I'm on chapter 23 it ends on page 201 so I literally only have like three pages left and then I think I'm gonna call it a night because I'm just super super tired <music> the morning of January 3rd. I know I'm wearing the same fluffy sweatshirt that you saw me in yesterday. It is just what I throw on when I'm eating my breakfast, when I'm still in my pajamas before I get dressed. <laughs> but I did make it to page 200 yesterday on Powerless and I actually found like a second wind and kept reading. So I ended up making it all the way to chapter 30, which is page 259. So made it further than I was expecting and I am thoroughly enjoying where we're at in the story right now. It is keeping me very intrigued. So I wanted to give that quick update for you all and I definitely will be updating you a little bit later this afternoon. I am really hoping to finish this book today. I'm a little more than halfway through. <music> chapter 32 ends I was just so stressed out <laughs> I was just so stressed out <sighs> oh my gosh this book is really good so far I'm really enjoying this everyone I took a little bit of a break from reading because I went and got a haircut I have been wanting to get bangs for so so long but I've been too afraid to do it I ended up making a hair appointment about a month ago and I said that's it I'm finally gonna do it I'm gonna get bangs I love them so far I'm so happy that I did them I wanted them to be pretty light I didn't want them to be super heavy just in case I didn't like them I love them so far I wanted to come and update you all on my progress with powerless I just hit page 300 so I'm basically updating you every 100 pages I'm about to start chapter 35 and chapter 34 was really really good we got a ton of really valuable information about this plot point that again I think is going to be what allows this to become a series and not just a standalone book I'm going to get back to reading I'm going to eat some lunch I have some mac and cheese that I'm dying to dive into and just read a little bit more of this this book is almost 500 pages so I only have this much left to read so we will see if I end up being able to get through it I'm really hopeful that I will be able to get through it I also pulled out <laughs> I also pulled out my other glasses these are the glasses that I wear to work they're like a cheap $30 pair I got online I did just order another pair actually a couple pairs of cheap glasses online from Zenny Optical that way I have some things to kind of go between for reading here in the house but also wearing glasses to work and stuff like that so yeah I'm gonna heat up my lunch and get to reading again
guys. <laughs> this book has me laughing out loud right now. So I took a little break from reading so that I could edit and upload another video, put a thumbnail together, all that fun stuff. And I just started chapter 40. And <laughs> if you've read this book, I'm reading the hardcover version, page 346, the first page in chapter 40, Kai has something written on his hand and it just cracked me up hysterically and I needed to share that with you all. So funny. <laughs> so I just got to page 399. That's the start of chapter 50 in Powerless. So I thought I would update you because I've read another 100 pages. And yeah, I feel like every time I update you guys, something very interesting or informative or fun has happened. And that definitely happened in chapter 49. I love the little romantic treat we got in chapter 49 for sure. I still have high hopes for finishing this tonight. I have a little over 100 pages left or about 100 pages left. I am about to leave to go to dinner with some friends though. So depending on how long I'm out for, I may not finish this tonight and may have to end up finishing it tomorrow morning. I also haven't read any of One in a Millennial yet today. I really do feel like I'm just going to end up reading that in between other books throughout the month. So I'm okay with the fact that I haven't touched that yet today. But I might also, if I end up coming back kind of later and not thinking that I can finish Powerless today, I might just end up switching over and reading a chapter or two of One in a Millennial instead. So we'll see what happens. But I wanted to give you a little update at the 400 page mark. Hi, everyone. Okay, first off, don't mind my hair. I just got back from the gym and it's like, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> my, my bangs are kind of back like it's in a pony. It is what it is. But uh, I did want to do a final recap, check-in, whatever you want to call it with you guys about Powerless. I got back from dinner last night around nine o'clock and I could not resist picking this back up again. So I ended up reading the last hundred pages before I went to bed and I really, really enjoyed this book. It definitely had me smiling. It had me laughing at one point. It had me like welling with tears towards the end. I think that it ended on a really interesting note and I'm super curious to see what the author Lauren Roberts does with the second book in the series. I think it's going to be called Reckless. I don't know when it's coming out though. I haven't looked into that, but I definitely want to continue on with the series when the next book comes out. So yeah, it didn't give me the five star feeling, but it was really, really good. So I ended up rating this four and a half out of five stars. I'm so glad that I read it. I'm so glad that I picked it up as my first book of 2024. I also, before I went to bed last night, did end up reading another chapter of One in a Millennial. Yeah, I'm actually still thoroughly enjoying this book. I love that it's in almost like essay form. Uh, so even though it's nonfiction, I'm still really, really enjoying that. And again, I'm going to continue to kind of just read a chapter as at a time throughout the month in between books, or if I want to take a break from the book that I'm currently reading, hopefully I'll be able to finish it before it comes out. I think it comes out towards the end of the month. So yeah, I'm, I'm still enjoying that one. I think for my first reading vlog, this is a good place to end it. Just stick with one book and see how it goes. I hope you all enjoy this video. If stuff like this, reading vlogs or something that you're interested in seeing, definitely put a comment down below. I think I would enjoy making more videos like this in the future. And as always, everyone, please be safe. Bye-bye.